Alright, hey guys, it's uh, Ian back from Insane RC Action, and uh, we're making some brush guards for the track to slash, and uh, let's open the door and see what we got going on. Alright, there's our uh, 3D generated image, and uh, let's go ahead and click print. Alright Trev, tell me what's going on with the brush guards, man. What do we have going on here? Well, we uh, threw them up in a design in SolidWorks, which is a 3D modeling program. Very nice. Then we took that model and put it into Replicator G, which uh, turns into code for right. the printer to read. And then the printer just starts printing like it's doing back there right now. Very nice. Pretty simple. It just um, just takes quite a while for it to print. And this is just a prototype, correct? Yep, just first prototype. And how long do you think it'll take to print this first prototype? Uh, right now we're looking at about three hours for this one. Yeah, again guys, it takes quite a while and since this is only the prototype, this project might take a couple days for, well, to be completed. So as you can see, right now the printer is doing its job, probably heating the extruder up. We're getting some uh, plastic coming out of that, so look at it. Pretty neat how it kind of works together, don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright guys, and um, we'll come back when the prototype's pretty much complete and we'll show you how it looks. Alright guys, we are finished with prototype one of the brush guards and take a look and see how they turned out. We went with a we went white color and as you can see, they pretty much line up with the angular part of the front part of the chassis and they go along these sides. And we don't, we don't have them screwed in or bolted in right now, we just have some command strips holding them in. Just for, um, you know, just for a first prototype, just so they stay on right now. Very nice, sleek design. They hook over the Nerf bars, and like you see, they stop about right here. Keeping mainly just big brush, I mean, you know, you know, maybe some bigger rocks, grass, gravel, and stuff out of here, maybe leaves. Uh, but still, but it still allows uh, quite a bit of airflow coming through the front part of the uh, shock tower, and maybe through the sides a little bit. And I'm going to put the body on and show you how the body kind of clamps down over top of them so it seals every, all the big debris and brush that you don't want in the car. It shuts it out. Alright guys, so with the body on, this is what it kind of looks like with the brush guards. If you can kind of see in there, I'm going to move the... Shoot, which way is better? That way? Yeah. I'm going to hold the car still while he moves the camera. If you can see inside here, they line up to the top of the body about right here. So that way it closes off any chance of you getting tall, you know, wet grass or unwanted rocks and debris in there. Move it this way. You can kind of see in there. So we're going to take a look at the other side now. Open that up. You can see how it lines up nicely. Nice and neat. Seals everything off. But yet again, through the front, you still have nice airflow. And um, it helps ESC stay cool. So, there we go. Thanks guys for watching this video on Insane RC Action and we'll see you next time.